From studying small guards who can attack the rim, I've seen eight main skills that each one possesses. Now, each of these eight skills I've grouped into pairs, because what I've realized is that being a great finisher is not just about repping out a bunch of tough finishes. It's about having a bunch of different finishes in your bag, and subconsciously deciding on a drive which one you're going to use. The point of this video is to understand what these decisions will be and how to train for them, so you're prepared for anything in the game. Alright, the first skill is your angle of attack. Now wherever you catch the ball, you can really drive to the middle or to the side. If you drive to the middle, you'll have more of the backboard to work with when you do get to the rim, but it's more likely that there's going to be more help defense around you. If you go to the side, it's more likely that's a quicker path to the rim. And there's going to be less help defense, but you have less of the backboard to work with, so you have to get creative here. The second skill is distance. You're either going to take a layup close to the rim, or away from the rim. If you take it close to the rim, you have a variety of different finishes that you can use. If you take it away from the rim, you could be just inside the free throw line, or even outside the paint. There's a whole nother variety of skills that you're going to need here. The next skill is which hand you are going to finish with when you get to the rim. You can use your inside hand or your outside hand. Your outside hand is better when you have a wider angle of attack and you need a wider shot in order to get it off over the defender. Your inside hand is better when it's a quick drive and you just want to get the ball up to the backboard or to the rim as quickly as possible. This can also throw off the timing of the defense so it's really effective when used properly. This next skill seems like a simple one, but it's one we all need to work on in our workouts when we're attacking the basket. Sometimes on a layup you're going to use the backboard, sometimes you won't. Both of these situations require different types of touch, and you need to have both in your bag. Now this next skill is for when we're specifically finishing off the backboard. There's really two ways we could do this. The first, you shoot the ball and when it hits the backboard, it dies and it drops into the rim. Alright, this is very useful when we're driving straight to the basket and we just want to shoot the ball high off the glass around the middle of the backboard. Now the other way is when we're driving sideways or we're just getting close to the rim in general. And we want to shoot the ball and spin it off the corners of the backboard. I would argue the first type of finish is harder and there's definitely more angles that you can use this from, but you definitely need to have both of these if you want to be an elite finisher. The next skill is a really underrated part of being an elite finisher, but it's very necessary. And it's when we initiate contact. Sometimes you're going to drive downhill to the basket and you're going to initiate contact while you're still on the ground. This is going to throw the defender off their path, and then once they're off balance, then you jump up to the rim. The alternative is, you drive by your man, the help defense comes over under the basket, you jump off of two feet and make contact with them in the air. Now when you do this, you make contact in the air, and you have to stay in the air for a couple of seconds in order to get the shot off. We've kind of touched upon this skill a little bit, but this is just the speed of your shot. Sometimes you're going to drive to the basket, and you just want to get the ball off as quick as possible off the backboard or to the rim. This is a very stealthy, speedy kind of finish. The other one is if you just go up strong. So you know the defender's around you, you're going to take the contact, or you're going to initiate the contact on the ground, you're going to spin the ball off the backboard, do what you have to do. This is a stronger type of finish. This is kind of the speed versus slow debate, but you definitely need to have both of these in your game. Last skill in order to be an elite finisher is which foot you're going to jump off of. Sometimes you're going to jump off of one foot, sometimes you're going to jump off of two feet. Now both of these have their pros and cons. There's plenty of people that have already talked about this in the past, but you have to know when to use each one, and you have to be able to use them both effectively. When you jump off of one foot, it's usually when you're driving really quickly to the basket, and you don't want to lose momentum, and you get a good amount of hang time from it. But when you want to jump off of two feet, it's when you're usually going at a slower pace to the basket. You can jump stop, you can step through out of this, you can jump off of two and change direction after you jump. This is also very effective, but you definitely need to have both of these. 